Hey everyone, what's up? It looks like I'm playing Grandmaster as my Parshvili. Very strong player, um, but also known as a huge cheater <laughs> in real life tournaments. Basically made up a tournament and then managed to become FIDE Vice President because that's where the cheaters go. Um, I can't remember what I do here. It's been a while. Alright. But obviously he's very good at chess. But deep and snake is a horrible cheater with a very poor ethics, let's just say. Anyone who gets to be FIDE vice president has questionable ethics, let's just put it that way. Um, you, you can't get the position unless there's something something wrong with the way you do business. I don't know why my rating's higher than his, probably because he sucks with the mouse. Whatever, I mean he's older too, so it's probably not the same level he used to be. What's the deal? He wants to go c5 right away? Alright, I don't know. I'm just going to play normal. Whatever. Uh, if knight d3 or oh, knight c4, that's annoying, right? So if knight c5, is there something wrong happening? I, I don't know. I'm just going to do it. It's a strange... It, interesting setup he's used. I've never quite seen it, but it seems to make sense to me. I'm just going to take and then go, I guess knight d7. Idea, knight c5. My bishop on c8 is not, not ideal. Okay, so now knight c5 he wants to take on d6. So this is nice stuff he's doing here, but what if I, if I do this he's going to go knight b6 or something? Maybe. I have some weaknesses there. Hmm, maybe rook a6, pathetic looking move, but idea of b5. If he goes a4, well, I don't know what to do then. Let's see, a4, knight c5, knight d6. Kind of unpleasant. Maybe I'll go b6 and knight c5. What was my plan? b5, right? It gives up my... my I'm just going to do it, though. Uh, it gives up the c6 square, but my knight's in c5, hopefully fighting against that. I don't know. Um, maybe I should have done something different, like bishop f5 last move. Somehow I like my knight, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm kind of worried about his infiltrating rooks, though. I'm not sure what to do about it, so I'm just gonna let him let him come into my house, and we'll try our best to to beat the cheater. Um, this looks annoying. I understand he can take on a5, but I'm just hoping somehow maybe rook a8. I don't know. All right, I'll do this. He can go b4. All right, I'm gonna. Just get some luft and we'll deal with this later. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm probably down a pawn now. Well, I'm down a pawn. I'm probably it's a real pawn that actually matters, is my point. I don't really know what to do with my pieces at the moment. Well, no. Ah, you know, this looks like a safe move. Although his queen can come into h6. Maybe f3 is good here. If I take, he goes. All right. Um, interesting. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to set up some blockade on the c4 square. If he plays, okay. I mean, I guess I'll just do this. It's pretty bad for me, I think. Well, the a pawn. The a pawn's there. A2 pawn, I mean, it gets weak. Oh, I didn't see that. How annoying is it? Um, probably it's pretty annoying. I think I should go back. I mean, I'm going to be down a pawn. Nothing I can do about it right now. Uh, that's an interesting move. It's probably a horrible move. Can I do this? Yeah, what the hell. 
the thing is, the D pawn's really strong. Um, let's take the D5 pawn now. I should have just done nothing, and maybe he would have uh, blundered his rook. Oh, thank you. <laughs> See, cheaters always lose in the end. There we go. Give up. <laughs> uh, I mean, this guy, you know, he's a real strong player. He's, he got to number 13 in the world, but he did so by basically making up a tournament. Um, let me make sure it's the same guy. I mean, I assume there's not too many people with his name. Yeah. Basically, they just made up a tournament, a four-player round robin, where him and one other guy, like, virtually won every game, and everyone else lost every game. He gained, like, 50 rating points. The other guy got his GM title, and the other guys lost, like, a million rating points. The game, there's no games. There's no... It's, like, 24-round tournament. It was completely the most obvious cheating ever in history. Everybody knew it. Wasn't a big secret. And he got to 13th in the world doing that. He was probably legitimately, like, top 30 in the world, top tw maybe even top 20, but that was some some shady stuff that he did there. Uh, so, you know, just completely unethical cheat, and whatever. He lost this game, because <laughs> that's what happens to cheaters. They lose the real important games, like the, the ICC Blitz game. But, you know, I defended okay. I'm sure I was losing at some point, but... He just missed a lot of tricks at the end. Let me even look up this story. I'm going to look it up just so you guys know. I'm just looking it up off screen. I just searched as my Prashvili cheat. As my Prashvili admitted cheating. Wow. <laughs> Huh. In the winning... The guy's just a cheater, basically. Um, controversies. There's a lot of them. I like how he admitted cheating. <laughs> he admitted cheating in the, like, the minor instance, so that, like, to shield his more drastic cheating situations. He retracted a move. Uh, he retracted his blunder and played a sensible move, and then won the game in the tournament. Malakoff couldn't enforce the rules, but said that he was too shocked to react. Um, I don't know what this is all about. Oh, there's a lot more cheating incidences that happened before. I'm going to look them up real quick. The thing is, it's before the internet age, so maybe there's no... Here's a... Yeah, I mean, he's just like the most... Biggest cheater ever. Let's see, here's one. A little story for a friend. In 1995... Oh my god, it's a long ass story. But basically he made... Uh, he called three friends. Two Yugoslavs and one Russian. And then they decided to play a team tournament where everyone would beat with his rival six times. And then, basically, he, he won 15 games, drew two, and lost one, and gained 50 ELO points. So, you know. Basically, huge cheater. Among the elite players welcoming him to the stranger was very cold. Alexei Shirov refused to shake hands. does this mean? <laughs> wow. Um, anyway, I win. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye-bye.